just been driving my son to school and he's learning to drive so I drive him there and, I mean he drives there and I drive home and he gets his driving lesson on the way to school and that's an opportunity to think about empowerment and people learning at work because uh, there's so many things about the new ways of working which are important for enabling people, empowering people, authorizing people, setting people free to do work. I love Dan Mezek's phrase that authorization is permission to do work, uh, which highlights the fact that people in the current conventional ways of management almost don't have permission to work. And, and what do we mean by that? Well, we mean that they're not allowed to fail and they're not allowed to learn. And, and that's just unreasonable. And when you put uh, people into unreasonable systems, they behave unreasonably. They behave in ways in order to compensate and to protect themselves and to stay sane. So, you know, what's the unreasonable things about how we work? Well, we say failure is unacceptable and there must be zero risk. And none of those things are possible. They're, they're fantasies. Um, they're ridiculous situations to put people in. A lot of my clients are government and uh, the public puts the government in an expectation of zero risk. Every slightest error that the government makes is all over the papers and, and, and the journalists are mocking and complaining because something went wrong. Um, we have to understand human error and we have to respect it and we have to embrace it and we have to treat it as a source of value, not as a cause for punishment. And the airline industry understands this. Uh, a bit. The newspapers still like to punish pilots for errors, but the industry themselves understands that the way to learn is to welcome failure and to squeeze the value out of it. So, um, we have these unreasonable rules at work of, of error, you know, failure is unacceptable and zero error, and, and that means nobody ever gets to learn. So, nobody's perfect, even the master who has you know, who is the master of whatever piece of work it is, still has a bad day and still makes mistakes. But even more so, there are the learners, like my son, learning to drive. And they're going to make mistakes, and, and the mistakes can have horrendous consequences. You know, I said to him, the only real rule is don't cross the center line. So, you know, they do, and people die. And, and that we, we tacitly, at least subconsciously, accept that as a cost of learning to drive is that learners make worse mistakes and people die. And that's just part of the process. It has to be the same at work. We have to understand that no one's ever going to get experience, no one's ever going to gain skills unless we allow them to try and when they try they're going to fail. And so, so how do we protect ourselves from that? Well, not by the way we do it now, of doing great big bang projects and, 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 and huge changes and, and having critical systems. The, the, the way we do that, the way we understand that human error is inevitable and that people have to learn and they have to be given a chance to have a go even when they're inexperienced, the way we deal with that is that we work in small steps. We work in increments. We minimize the blast radius is one of my favorite expressions. And, and we, we isolate ourselves, we protect ourselves, we create resilient systems. Um, the Resilience Conference has just finished in San Francisco, its second one, which is a fantastic thing. That that's a whole study in itself now is resilience and engineering in IT and outside of IT. And understanding that if one beginner making one mistake can bring your whole system down, that's not the fault of the beginner, that's the fault of your system. If somebody does something stupid in your system and it causes damage, you should thank them for exposing the weakness in your system that allows them to do something stupid and that means one error is enough to bring the whole house of cards down. That's not their fault, that's the fault of the system. Our systems should be resilient enough, recoverable enough, redundant enough, and incremental and experimental enough that somebody can make a mistake and, and there are consequences, but they're controlled consequences and they're minimal consequences and they're recoverable consequences. And the system 
can handle that because it's going to happen every day. People are going to make mistakes. Mistakes because they're learning. Mistakes because they're an expert and they've become blase. Mistakes because they had a fight with their spouse on the way to work. Humans are humans and we need to design our systems with that in mind. And we have to design our systems in such a way that people can learn to drive with uh, the minimum possibility that someone's going to die. But also understanding the distinct possibility that they're going to cross the centre line. 